Okay, John, why did you set up the Blues Club? Um, I felt that there was a need uh, in Hereford for a permanent blues club. Um, there's lots of blues artists in the area, and uh, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to give them a chance to showcase their talents, and also to try and bring in some people from further afield, which we've uh, managed to do quite successfully already. Is there a big blues scene in Herefordshire? Um, as far as I know, yeah. Blues bands, when they play, always seem to be popular um, and draw a reasonable crowd, so yeah. And Troy, have you got a big following in Herefordshire yourself? Not so much in Herefordshire, because we've been uh, focusing on London and sort of other regions, really. But I'm starting to sort of refocus on these counties, because I think it's good to have a sort of foundation where you, where you live. Really. And obviously to support John with, uh, with this project. So. OK. So, John, have you um, got any bands booked up? Um, that you can tell us about? Uh, yeah, we've got uh, the first gig is with Troy and a, a young band from Hereford called Sweet Talk. Um, then we're trying to aim to put something on fortnightly. The next gig is uh, the Luke Doherty band, um, who's recently won an award from 7FM as Best Young Blues Artist of the Year, and they've been supported by a local band called the Tech Chords. We've also got um, a well-known blues gu guitarist called Tommy Allen, who plays in a band called Trafficker. Um, we've also got a band from Kent called The Sharpies, who feature X9 Below Zero members, as well as um, some other local bands. And we're also behind the Mick Ralph's Blues Band event at the Left Bank, and also Deborah Bonham at the Left Bank at the end of April. So we're managing to get quite a lot of interest and bands and people wanting to come and play. And when's the official launch of the club? The official launch is on Saturday, February the 13th. 13th, 13th yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And what's the appeal for, for you with blues music, John? Uh, something that I've always enjoyed. Um, it's, it's got... Um, Lots, it affects you in lots of ways. It can go to your head and it can go to your feet. And it, it, it's, it's a timeless music. People can feel the blues, either in a good or bad sense. And, and it's a good crowd, crowd for please. And Troy, what's the appeal of blues for you? I think, well, I know that the blues is the sort of the roots of all what modern music. Rock and roll comes from the blues by Chuck Berry. You know, it's the core of everything. And um, I think that, on a musicology scale, you know, the, the minor pentatonic scale is, is kind of the, the core scale that people feel, I think. Um, um, so, just on, on a, like, like you were saying, on a sort of gut level and a heart level, you know, it, um, it affects your soul, you know, it's, 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 sort of a, it's, a, it's kind of like a, a spiritual music, I think. Um, yeah. And both of you, finally, um, favourite blues artist? Favourite blues artist, oh, that's a, <laughs> a tricky one. Um, I'd say Muddy Waters. Freddie King, Johnny Winter. The list is endless, really. There's so many, so many people. Troy, same question. Um, I like the Mississippi Hill Country Blues, like R.L. Burnside. Um, but I'm listening a lot to um, J.B. Lenore at the minute. Um, but like you said, it's all, it depends it's, it's so much. You know, all the sort of like the classics like Hendrix. But um, Sean Costello is probably one of my favourite guitar players. Um, so, yeah, there's loads. All good.